Hillary Clinton is a role model for women and moms across the globe. She has had the kind of life that so many women admire and what she's done with power when she's had it has really been to lift up all women. Hillary Clinton is the first woman in American politics to emerge at a national level in her own right with more power than any woman has had before. Hillary Diane Rodham was born on October 26, 1947 in Chicago, Illinois, and took an interest in politics as a teenager. In Hillary Clinton's early years, she very much followed her father's politics as a Republican. As a girl, she campaigned for Barry Goldwater before she was old enough to vote in 1964. After she started to attend Wellesley College and then later heard a speech by Martin Luther King in 1968, she became extremely interested in public service and actually changed her political party to Democrat. After graduating from Wellesley College in 1969, Hillary went to Yale Law School where she met her future husband, Bill Clinton. As a young lawyer, she worked for the Children's Defense Fund and on the Nixon impeachment hearings. Hillary Clinton eventually left Washington and followed her heart to Arkansas and joined the faculty at the University of Arkansas Law School. Hillary Rodham and Bill Clinton were married on October 11, 1975, and welcomed their only child, Chelsea Clinton, five years later. In 1977, Hillary joined the Rose Law Firm and continued to work full-time as an attorney until a year later when she began the first of her five terms as Arkansas's First Lady. As First Lady of Arkansas, Hillary Clinton was very interested in the issues of education that she learned from the Children's Defense Fund. Hillary Clinton began the first of her two terms as the nation's First Lady in January 1993, when Bill Clinton became the 42nd President of the United States. Bill Clinton famously said that if you voted for him, you got two for one. You got Hillary and Bill. She was in charge of the task force to get the Health Care Reform Act through Congress in 1993. The country may not have been ready for an activist first lady at the outset, and I think that's part of the reason that health care effort didn't succeed. Over time, she won significant respect from the country because people saw someone who really cared about children, who cared about families, who was focused on policies that made people's lives better. After leaving the White House, Hillary became the first First Lady to run for public office, winning a U.S. Senate seat for the state of New York in 2006. Two years later, Hillary ran for president. Hillary Clinton was really the front runner from the very start. And that was really no accident, as in many ways she had spent her entire life cultivating the kind of support and surrogates that she would need. It turned out she ran against the, probably the one person, the one Democrat in the country who could beat her, Barack Obama. Hillary's campaign expected her to lock up the nomination very early, and she didn't do that. Obama's campaign won. Shortly after Barack Obama was sworn in as president, Hillary was nominated and quickly confirmed as his Secretary of State. As Secretary of State, she was a great figure around the world, but it's not clear that she really had much policy influence on President Obama. In February of 2013, Hillary Clinton stepped down as Secretary of State to return to the private sector. She now helps run the nonprofit charitable Clinton Foundation. I think it's very possible that on some January morning in Washington, D.C., you will see Hillary Rodham Clinton raising her right hand with the left on the family Bible and swearing the words that her husband had many years before.